Hello and welcome Capricorn. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Capricorn, this week's reading is going to be about finding that person, finding your person. So will you ever find the one? And if you're with someone, let's take a look. Alright, keep, keep in mind Capricorn, um, this is a general reading so not everything will resonate with your situation and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. You know, unfortunately, general readings are not one size fits all. All right. Ooh, all right. Bottom of the deck is a Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, Capricorn, right away, I kept hearing this is someone that you met at work or through a coworker or through like, you know, like um, if you have like a coworker friend, it's like someone that's trying to set you up with someone. Um, and that's going to be for some of you is what I keep getting. All right, Capricorn. So you do have the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, and then the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. So I do feel like you are going to be mutually attracted. Um, I do feel like this person is wanting to come in. I kind of feel like this person's kind of romantic. Um, I keep getting, like I said, um, it's like a friend of a friend or like, um, I keep getting like, for some, again, some, for some of you, like a coworker. Um, could be a little bit of an age difference. But I do feel like this person wants to kind of, you know, has something to offer here. Wants to kind of see, like, where this can go. Okay. Okay. All right, so clarifying that Three of Cups with the Seven of Emotions... Four of Voices, and then the Six of Emotions. Um, so this is the Six of Cups, Four of Swords, and then the Seven of Cups. So you could be having some um, some choices here, some options, Capricorn. So I do kind of feel like for quite some time, maybe you've taken a step back from like the dating world. Um, just kind of like, you know, not ready, not here for it yet. It's like you're kind of focusing on you, doing your own thing. Possibly still being nostalgic. Um, reminiscing of, you know, an old flame. For some of you, this could be wanting to reconcile with an ex. For others of you, like I said, I do feel like you're going to have some options here. Okay. This person really sees you as being confident. Um, I keep getting like life of the party. They see you as being popular. Or this could be them. Okay. So clarifying the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Voices, we have the Four of Emotions, and we have the Ace of Emotions. Okay, so somebody could be just getting out of a relationship. Hmm. But I do feel like a sense of excitement here. It's like you're moving forward. Um, there could have been a struggle there for quite some time. But I do feel like you're finally, like I said, it did kind of feel like you were taking a step back from like the dating world, from, you know, just kind of everything. I'm just kind of focusing on you, doing you, doing your own thing. But it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to put myself out there. Hopefully I didn't miss my opportunity, but it's like I'm kind of starting to feel a little lonely or, you know, like I do want that companionship. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that chance and being the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Emotions here. Yeah, that would be the Ace of Cups. You know, I do feel like you took some time. You know, you definitely got that self-love going. Um, but it's like, I feel like you are finally ready to put yourself out there for a new beginning in love. It's like, yeah, I'm ready for that companionship. I'm ready for that partnership. Okay, so clarifying the Knight of Cups, we have the Ten Materials, 
queen of emotions, and nine of materials. So yeah, you're feeling independent. You're feeling confident. Again, you're ready to put yourself out there. You're feeling like, okay, I'm good. I'm looking for a love interest. You know, like I'm ready to have a partner. Uh, queen of emotions, again, you know, you're kind of in your feelings. I do feel like for some of you, it is kind of lonely. So it's like, you know, you are looking for that companionship, that partnership. Um, you want someone you can build with. You do want to take things slow, but you want a commitment. You want someone, like I said, that you can really build with, that you can create that ten of materials with. You know, for some of you, you're really kind of, you know, wanting to start a family. So you're looking for that commitment. So we have the Three of Cups here twice. Um, for some of you, this is, again, I feel like it's kind of talking about a reconciliation. For others of you, this is starting over. Um, I do feel like you are going to be getting that, you know, that that love of your life. You're going to be finding your person. You're going to be finding, you know, your one, your person. Um, I do feel like it kind of takes some time. Again, I feel like you really had to pull back and focus on you, kind of focus on self-love, self-healing, you know, things like that, because like I said, I do feel like there's something here in your past that really caused a lot of pain that really needed to, you know, a lot of healing. Um, again, I keep feeling like this could be a friend of a friend, could be a little bit of an age difference going on. Hmm. Yeah, see, and I feel like you are getting good news. I feel for like some of you, <clears throat> sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, <laughs> I feel for like some of you, this is again, kind of being set up by someone else. So it, it kind of feels like somebody's playing matchmaker. Um, good. You know, again, could be a friend, could be a coworker. I feel like you may have possibly heard of this person or, you know, you've, um, seen this person, but I do feel like there is some kind of interest or this person has heard about you or seen you and it's like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty interested. Hmm. Again, I do feel like you are going to be going towards a second chance here, like a new chance at love. I do feel like you are going to be finding your person. Um, I keep getting like, again, a blind date, possibly around like Valentine's day. Uh, for some of you, this is, this is like within this month. So this is coming in pretty fast. For others of you, I keep getting maybe March, April. I keep getting more like springtime. Hmm. All right. I'm definitely going to be taking some, uh, timing cards. So let me go ahead and let's get some of, let's do the timing cards first. Okay. So I have been very busy. <laughs> I have been making a deck of my own because I, I've never found a timing deck or anything like that. And that's always like a number one question. So I started making my own deck, but unfortunately it's not going to be here till like the end of February. But I found this little guy. Um, on Etsy, so we are going to give it a try here. Okay, so we have Bide Your Time, and then we have In Just a Few Weeks. So, okay, so you know, again, kind of. Again, I kept feeling like somebody's taking their time, this and that. Um, so just be patient in, you know, in a way. And then within just a few weeks, again, I kept feeling something about springtime for some of you. Okay. Let me take one of these little cards. Just for any advice about finding the one for Capricorn. We have a no. Capricorn, I keep getting, for some of you, 
it's almost like you want to go back to a toxic situation or you're kind of being stuck in the past. So no, don't stay stuck. Make sure you're moving forward. Again, it's focusing on you, focusing on self-love. Your person is coming for some of you. You know, it's going to take a hot minute. It's going to be, you know, a few more weeks. So you're not going to be, you know, partnered up on um, Valentine's Day, which for some people, that's a big deal. You know, me personally, Valentine's Day really isn't my thing. <laughs> Um, but you know, I, I get that it is a big deal for some people. Um, but I'm just kind of getting like, don't give up. But at the same time, the situation is calling for some patience. All right. So now we're going to play around with my deck. And this one is one that is in the works. Um, again, it wouldn't be here in time. So I decided to just kind of give you guys a sneak peek. So we want to know about Capricorn's person. Okay. Okay. All right. So a couple of traits we have here is a prominent nose. Um, so athletic and then not your usual type. So this person could be someone um, very different than what you are used to dating. Um, this person could be very athletic, very okay athletic but they are seem to be an introvert or somebody's an introvert here because then it's kind of okay i keep getting like opposites attract because we have not your usual type we have introvert and then we have confident so it does feel like you know you're kind of the one with the confidence um capricorn or you know again this could be your person you know take it vice versa um but I do feel like somebody here is an introvert while the other person is pretty confident. So it's almost like that, again, you know, that opposites attract type of situation. Um, I do feel like this person is athletic, could possibly have like a prominent nose, but they're not your usual type that you um, are used to dating. But I do feel like this person does want to build with you here. Um, so they are looking for, you know, a committed relationship. Hmm. For some of you, like I said, I do feel like this could be someone from your past, but for the majority of, and that's, for me, that's only resonating for like a few of you out there, but I do feel like for the majority of you, this is talking about someone new, because like I said, it, it does feel like it's been a hot minute since you've been in a relationship, um, so this person, like I said, that, you know, you're one, your person, they are definitely going to be coming in. Like I said, we did get the timing of, um, bide your time and then in just a few weeks. So I still feel like it's going to be a little bit, but I do feel like you are going to meet this person. All right, Capricorn. So that is what I have for you. Hopefully this helps. Um, thank you so very much for watching. And as always have a great rest of the week. Stay warm out there, stay safe and take care.